Shocking everyone, Leon won the Champions League. On the manager front, Rafa Benitez takes charge at Juventus, leaving his former side, Benfica. And although I had applied for Inter Milan, it was also a World Cup year, so there were more jobs to pop up. Three job interviews, though, all came on the same day, including Inter Milan and Valencia, which actually caught my eye again. Because Valencia's budget is £159 million, and although the likes of David Villa's 32, the rest of the team's pretty good. So good that even Dad decided that he wanted to apply for it. But he was too late and missed a window. And the Valencia board decided that I was the right man for the job. And I didn't want to wait around for the Inter Milan role and accepted their offer to become the new Valencia manager. This team is really good with David Villa headlining the front three. One Mata on the wing and even Anton Ferdinand at the back. This team's actually really underrated. But I already have an idea of players that I want to bring in. And I went straight to Sporting in Portugal for my number one target, the 22-year-old Mohamed Salah, who would instantly be a star in my side. I also went to another one of my former clubs, Werder Bremen, and activated the release clause of the young French defender Raphael Varane for £46 million. Without Dad signing anybody... It's the next season and Hulk still can't be registered for the third season in a row. But neither of us can still work out why. After winning the Champions League with Lyon, their manager took the job at Inter Milan. And after the World Cup, a bunch of new international manager jobs came up which could start a manager merry-go-round, which might prompt my dad to leave. The World Cup, however, was won by Brazil, who beat Nigeria 3-0 in the final, with the last World Cup winners, Ukraine, finishing in third place this time round. No jobs came up, though, so dad made the decision to sell Hulk on deadline day for a big loss. But that also didn't go to plan either. Dad, even when you decided to try and sell Hulk, the transfer was cancelled. This is another season I just couldn't register him. Could I try to get rid of the 90 U players in my team to, to, to get him in? Couldn't get him in. Another season. Still, I don't get so it. this will be the third season I've had him, and I just, just don't get him in the team. And I, I don't understand it. You don't understand it. So I tried selling him. I got a Florentina and Juventus wanted him, didn't I? So I made sure he didn't go to Juventus, except to the Florentina did, and then it got cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no idea. But you're stuck with him anyway. Yeah. Uh, and oh. that's kind of forced your hand to change the tactic. Yeah, it did, yeah. Because you had a couple of players retiring. You didn't have that much money. Players in, you did bring in two players, but they were both mm. midfielder options. Yeah. You got a four million pound here, just I, more of a squad I, I bought, player. I bought this guy in because I kept on getting my, my, my main striker, uh, main midfielder sent off to me. Rossi, yeah. yeah he, he, and I tried to make sure, stick out her tackles and everything out, but he was still getting himself red carded and things like that, so... And then Loic Perrin, yeah. £20 million. And I got him just to, so I've got both positions in the midfield covered now. Yeah. Makes it a little bit stronger in case I get any suspensions and all that. So that was all I could do. And well, there we go. And that forced your hand, as I said, to yeah. change your tactic to had, a narrow diamond. Yeah, I had three up front, then I, with a shadow striker behind them. And um, so I just dropped um, one one striker out, made it, made it a bit a stronger midfielder. Midfield in, played three in midfield now. Yeah. With the shadow striker behind them. So yeah, that's what I've been forced to do. So it's, it's worked. I played it for two games, didn't I? Um, I got a draw with Lazio. Oh, spoiler alert! There we go. Oh, draw with Lazio. <laughs> yeah. I got a draw with Lazio and I beat Inter Milan. So. Yeah, after a bad start. Yeah. To be fair, which you did have a player sent off when you were, which was the two one up. <laughs> it was the player. It was, yeah, yeah. In that game, you were missing De Rossi for suspension, yeah. and you lost Aquilani yeah. because he got sent off. Straight red card as well. As well as Gishnak, who scored and then got himself injured. Uh, so, a bad start to the season, but then against, obviously, the champions, Lazio, two or draw away from home is, is never bad. No. Nope. Especially because, obviously, they are your rivals. Yeah, that's right. Um, and they didn't actually equalise into the 88th minute, so you're actually winning 2 1 for a while there. Yeah. But that's a great win against Inter Milan, who neither of us heard anything about their no, job we didn't. for no. ages. Uh, I mean, Alain Perrine eventually took over who was the Leon manager the current Champions League winners yeah uh, but I mean I applied for it and then just it was like radio silence wasn't it well they didn't get back to you did they no no, no, yeah, no. no well no because I got offered the Valencia yeah. but they still uh, didn't job even offer, you, offer you a job to see if he was nothing. interested did they no. no so there we go Inter Milan decided to go somewhere else and uh, I, I have mean, ended up at Valencia instead to be honest with you they, we thought there would be a merry-go-round with the World Cup didn't we and I was sat there waiting for it. Yeah. And I thought, if a job comes up, because of the, the problem I've been having with Hulk, I'm going to go. 
nothing popped up so I'm I'm not gonna say I'm stuck here because I could easily retire but um, I'm gonna go give it another season unless something pops up in January or something like that yeah. really good but I've got a good squad another good squad it's I think it's my last chance really of winning this league with this wrong. team I okay mean, I've got a few players are getting to the age now I'm thinking and my defense is getting a little bit old as well so this could probably be more of last season. I think money is your, also the other problem, isn't it? You had to sell a couple of players for FFP. Yeah. And you got minus in the bank. It's not great at the minute. No. There's some, you know, there's low loan wages and stuff but like that. I've I, I got to have a good squad. I mean, the players I've got are, are good players. I, I mean, like I said to you just now as well, I was getting offered for every single player on my team, except for the ones I really wanted to sell, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Your non-EU <laughs> players. Yeah. But yeah, there we go. I think Italy has high wages, which could be yeah. a problem for you there. Uh, okay, let's have a look at what I have done at this new team, Valencia. Now, I'm playing a positive 4-3-3. This kind of what they were playing when I come in here. And to be fair, it's been doing quite well. Yeah. Uh, already they had the likes of David Villa. They had one matter. They had some cracking players. And all I have done is added two three actually gems to that uh now they did also bring in anton ferdinand which okay i mean he's actually quite good on this good to be fair yeah. yeah 29 years old now so but i also brought in rafael varan and he's only 21 still a wonder kid and absolutely sublime uh he goes straight into the starting lineup actually knocking anton ferdinand out he went to my former club for 30 million pound last season played 29 games had a good season as well but I picked him up now for 45, and I think that is definitely a very good signing. Also, we highlighted him last season. Mohamed Salah, 22 years of age, was at another one of my former clubs. <laughs> 60 million pound was his, well, was his cost. I think it's worth it. Uh, 12 assists last season and eight goals in the Portuguese league. He's already got three and one, and. His finish is not that good. Only 11. Whenever these do gens come through of, of real players, they're not completely accurate. Nope. Obviously, we don't really think he had a very strong right foot. Um, but they're close anyway in the positions that they're supposed to be in. Uh, and Mohamed Salah is just an incredible player either way. But then, the final player, João Moutinho, played for both of my former clubs. <laughs> uh, I've also already bought this guy before when I went to Werder Bremen. So it was kind of like, hello, me again. Uh, João Moutinho has joined Valencia and those mental attributes Is he going to be on your speed though, is he? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he's, he's my Frank Kessie. <laughs> yeah. He's my Frank. I mean, people have been asking yeah. whether he is in the game yet. Or, and Frank Kessie is in the game as a free agent. He's just not very good. We're not, we're not even looking at him at the moment, are we? No. <laughs> uh, he played for Stella Club. In the Ivory Coast. He actually looks older in that picture than he actually really He does in real life, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he, he's not great yet. No. Whether he ever turns out to be anything, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, neither of us are coming run into uh, to Frank Kess either. Uh, so my tactic, as I mentioned, is a 4-3-3. My best 11 looks like this. And I have some familiar names such as Raul Albiol, who is very good in this game. Whether it's CDM or centre-back, he can do both, really. Uh, we've got Pablo and Varane now at the back. One matter plays on that left-hand side, and I've got him used as a winger. Same as Salah on the right-hand side as a winger. David Villa up front, who is coming close to 33 during this season. Uh, so the pace might start going away, but he is still 20 at finishing. With 19 technique and 17 off the ball and composure, he's still unbelievable, yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, so how long I can keep David Villa, I don't know. But... Um, at the minute, he's still firing on all cylinders. And they gave me a big budget, which is obviously the reason what persuaded me to go to Valencia. Uh, whether they keep flooding me with cash, I don't know, because there doesn't seem to be any debts. There's, it's not like the Valencia that we know in real life. They're doing all right financially, so I could be all right. Yeah. And the start of the season has been very good indeed. It has been four games in the league and four wins, although I have conceded a goal in every single game. 4-1 in the first against Mallorca. Osasuna was a 3-2. Valladolid was a 6-1. And Villarreal was 2-1. Villarreal was my only tough game so far in terms of being tested. Uh, and I don't have any of the big two until I play them back-to-back -back at the end of November. So hopefully by then, I'm in a runaway lead. Yeah. Because right now, I am in second place. The only team above me 
It's the team that fired me last season. <laughs> you just couldn't write it. Uh, Maurizio Romalo is in charge. I'm curious, how much did they spend? £7.5 million there. And they brought in Naldo, of course, which uh, was one of your old players. Yeah. So they haven't really spent that much, to be fair. They didn't really they were... need to, did they? No, I built up quite a good team. But there we go. My aim is just to finish above these. Yeah. Next season, I've got a personal grudge against them now <laughs> and see how I do in maybe the Copa del Rey. If I can hold on to a good league it, league win, then amazing. But I just can't see me doing that across the whole season. But, Dad, your final year, I guess, at Rome? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I would say so too. <laughs> Let's find out what happens. Despite my great start, we hit a bad run of form. Because after my old club Sevilla gave me a tonkin, we hit back-to-back -back losses twice in two months. Although in that period of time, we also beat Real Madrid at the Bernabeu 2-1 thanks to a Mohamed Salah winner. I couldn't believe what was happening either as Sevilla somehow was still top going into the halfway point. Dad was having a good time though, even if it was his last season in Rome. Three points off the top of the league and finishing third in his Champions League group, which means he drops into the UEFA Cup, becoming one of the favourites to win it and has Olympiacos to play. Neither of us signed any players in January. However, for the end of the season, I did succeed in bringing in a young John Stones as well as the legendary midfielder, Ronaldinho, who will be 35 next season and on a free transfer too. By April, Dad had been eliminated by Leverkusen in the UEFA Cup, round of 16. And it was all going downhill because he was 10 points off the top of the league, Juventus with one game in hand. Meanwhile, after a 2-1 loss in the semi-final first leg of the Copa del Rey against Real Madrid, we also fell behind in the home leg too. But we kept believing despite being two goals down and scored two very late and much needed goals to take the time to extra time where we used the momentum in the match to score a winner to see us through to the final to face Barcelona. However, bad news is that Sevilla are still top of the Spanish first division by five points with only seven games to go. Roma's league form never dropped though, and they went on a winning run like no other into the back end of the season, even destroying top of the league Juventus 6-1. And Juve have also been on a terrible run since that game, losing to AC Milan, drawing to Sampdoria, and with just Roma's rivals Lazio to play on the final day. And because Roma's form has been all wins, they somehow, with just one game to go, find themselves top of the league by three points. But hold the phone because celebrations in Valencia are now taking place because Cup Final Day was a huge day for the team in white as we took down Messi's Barcelona to lift the Copa del Rey. Dad season number one in Valencia. You've only got to spend Rey. one year in, in, in each country, and you? You, you take their cup, don't you? It's just like that. That's the easier one. Well. It's, it's the hardest one to get, obviously. I'm not getting the easier one. It's the league. Yeah. That's the trouble. I'm too far away in the league. But Copa del Rey in season number one, done and dusted. I mean, you've done well, really, because that you were a, a little bit outplayed as well, by the looks of it. So. Yeah. But you went 2-0 up, didn't you? Yeah. And Ronaldinho, who is El Capitano for Barcelona, is joining Valencia at the end of the season. <laughs> what a signing that is. 35 years of age. He looks amazing. I'm buzzing with that. So, yeah, I'll be having Ronaldinho on, uh, in my team for next season. But that's really good. What isn't good is how I did in the league, unfortunately. Uh, I dropped down to fifth place and I kind of just stayed there. Almost crept back into the top four. But... Barcelona and Real Madrid didn't win the league, though, did they, mate? No. My old team, <laughs> Sevilla, <laughs> were oh, probably you... really right for sacking me now. <laughs> You can't write that, can you? Just a season ago, there we were going, I can't believe they sacked you, Luke. <laughs> what were they thinking? You were going yeah. on to great things. Yeah. I was building a good team. You was? We did say that, didn't we? I, I mean, built a hell of a team. He from... didn't bring much in, neither, did he? So no. He, it goes as, he literally just... They were there all season. Five million. Yeah, they they literally stayed there the whole time. And it was, it yeah. was quite... Rem remarkable really if we take a look at the spanish first division of pass positions sevilla they were not in second like are the first game wasn't it on one five four one yeah and i was like four one should be top of league oh <laughs> sevilla they won six one <laughs> they stayed there nearly the whole time they dropped down twice yeah. unbelievable they had a little blip just there and that was it then wasn't it? yeah 
and then they carried on crushing. That was Barcelona who overtook them. They just couldn't catch him after that. And uh, yeah, I never really got back into that top four. I was, t I was four for a couple of seasons, yeah. but yeah, I never really was in it. And they ran away with it at one point. I mean, Barcelona caught them in the end because yeah. at one point they were like seven, eight yeah. points ahead. Yeah, they were, yeah. So it's quite impressive from Sevilla that they managed to do that after sacking me last season. But Copa del Rey winners. I've got to be happy with that. David yeah. Villa is the top scorer of the La Liga as well. So now I just need to focus on that. That's my goal for next season. Happy days. Lovely stuff. But Dad, you were one game away from also winning a trophy. Did you manage to do it? Yes, you did. Now the dilemma that your rivals Lazio had there was do they try and win the game because they had Juve in the final game whereas you had AC Milan it was literally what second a, versus third first versus like, fourth what a last weekend that was wasn't it yeah and it was I'm, actually obviously a bit well, of a as it was, I was three points clear with a better goal average so chances are that I would have probably won the league anyway but well, I, th I, I don't know whether it goes to a head to head yeah, or not it might do yeah goes to a head to head or you play like a playoff yeah, game yeah, in Italy. yeah. But I mean, so, I've, I've, stuffed, I've stuffed them AC Milan in the so... Yeah, the final game of the season, you won 5-1. I mean... I just went on a hell of a run. 6-1 I... against Juve, which was to actually overtake them yeah. as well. I couldn't believe that. I come up against them and they were top of the league. Yeah. And I stuffed them 6-1 and I yeah. thought, well... The you only just time pinched I, at the end, look. The only time I went top. There it is. There's a the 6-1 win that you had yeah. into the last three games of the season. Uh, whereas Juve were top for most of the season, really. Uh, I think everybody had a little bit of a go. AC Milan dominated the first yeah. half. But out of your those four teams there, yeah. What so. a finish I had. I think it was the last three months I didn't lose a game, did I? Yeah, league. you had I won every game. Ben Arthur as the highest assist, but no goal scorers. But Oscar Cardozo, your old friend, 34 goals. Yeah. Uh, what a player. Your run at the end of the season was remarkable. Now, you didn't manage to win the Coppa Italia. You were knocked out quite early on by Palermo there yeah. in extra time. Uh, and UEFA Cup, you were eliminated by Leverkusen quite badly. Yeah, but we'll get back to them in a minute. Yeah, disappointed with that. Leverkusen. Yeah. We'll get back to them in a minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but your last league game that you lost was Napoli on the 23rd of February. However, you didn't even draw a game after that. Won every, every single one. Yep. Uh, what a run. So, well, and, fully and, deserved. What was the predicament I was doing? We uh, we were coming back every week. Looking every for week. Job. I was determined. Because AC Milan, um, Juventus was doing so well, I was determined to get a job before the end of the season. When I, yeah. And I was just waiting and waiting and waiting. And no one really popped up. It looked like there's a couple of teams that were going to come up, didn't it? But they just didn't really pop up, really. Well, I think they? with five games left, you were eight points behind. Yeah. Because Juve's run at the end was so bad, Rafa Benitez's manager, they didn't win in their last four. So when you beat when I, them... When I gave them an hammer in, that was him. They folded, yeah. didn't they? Uh, that's completely where they chucked it away. So they had a very bad end of the season under Rafa Benitez there, where they basically chucked the league away. But you were considering all this way here, <laughs> well, actually even earlier, I think it was about from there onwards, yeah, it was, yeah. that uh, win against Siena, I remember we, were, we, we looked straight away, right after... Yeah. Is the Tottenham when, Hotspur job available yet? Especially Leverkusen. When Leverkusen knocked me out of the UEFA Cup, that was me. I was just said to you tonight, right? If I find a team there, I'm going. Yeah. And Tottenham's job, Gordon Strachan, was under threat. Yeah. Time and time again. Yeah. It was insecure, stable, insecure, yeah. stable. And when you look to see who they've got, Harry Kane's here, Gareth Bale was there. Yeah. I was just looking at it thinking, that's where I want to go. Yeah. So. I was stuck around now. I'm glad I did. I'm glad the job didn't come up with it because I would have gone for it and I'd have been absolutely too good to go. Yeah, I mean, now you've completed Italy. Yeah, finished. So you that's get away done from and that dusted. bloody EU rule now. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, Mario Gomez, 29 goals there, 19 for Ben Arthur, Gijnak, 18, Aquilani with 14. It's very impressive. Uh, on, on my side of the Valencia things, 34 from 38 in David Villa, uh, 14 and 14, both for one matter and Mohamed Salah so they've had a great time as well but Ronaldinho is coming next season so I don't know what I'm going to do in, in terms of <laughs> that formation but yeah we need to push on in the league I guess maybe put him in a shallow striker however there are some options now dad of course will be resigning more than likely from Roma and getting as far away from Italy as possible definitely but where will he go next well there's some options straight away because in the job centre already we have about four or five managers, four managers. AC Milan, 
That's tempting for me. They got a good side, in there. Yeah. I mean, straight away, Ronaldo is their key player, age 30, so one of the best in the world. PLO's 36, Gutusso's 37. That's the only thing that's putting me off there. They're, they're probably close to they retiring. Got 7 million, though. To yeah. Spend. That's a lot of money for an Italian side. The, the age, though, is yeah. really bad. Look how long it goes down until you get to the 20s. And that's a lot of first teams. Look at how many non EU players they've got in there as well. I'd, yeah. I'd leave that alone. Yeah. <laughs> they've got loads of them, lad. Like. <laughs> God. And it's mental how you couldn't register Hulk. Yeah. And they've got all of these. Oh, I don't know. How do they so, do there we go. But yes, AC Milan is available. Should I wish to go there? But Leverkusen, maybe? Yeah. Who knocked you out? They haven't got a bad team. It's a it's an option in Germany. So do, how did they get on in the UEFA Cup? Because we didn't look to see that who actually um, went on and won it, did we? No. So they were knocked down the semi final by West Ham. Ah, uh, right. Uh, who obviously went into the final against my own side, Werder Bremen. And Werder Bremen are champions of that. I tell you, that team is really good still. Yeah. Uh, they still got Courtois, Defoe. They still got Mertesacker there. Ronald Koeman has been there for a while. And second in the Bundesliga again behind Bayern Munich. So they've consistently stayed up there. Uh, let's have a look around the leagues, actually, because we haven't done that for a while to see how things go in. So obviously, Sevilla somehow managed to win La Liga. Mental. Roma won Serie A. In the Premier League, Liverpool are champions. Now, at one point, it was Manchester City. In fact, for a lot of the time, yeah. it was Manchester City. And Liverpool overtook it at the end there. So... Yeah, Liverpool done the business quite early on there. Man City's got a good team, not an amazing team, but they couldn't hold on. The likes of Sergio Aguero, of course, is at Liverpool. It's weird, isn't it, this yeah. this realm that we're in, <laughs> uh, an alternate universe, I guess. Uh, but you can see the rest of the lineup there. I mean, Tottenham finished down in ninth place. Yeah. Even Blackburn in sixth place is, is a surprising one so for the Premier League. Uh, but outside of that, of course, we've got the Bundesliga, which we had just seen with Bayern Munich. And in the Portuguese League, Benfica, are now champions after Sporting won last season. So Benfica won three on the bounce when you left, uh, and then Sporting won one. Now it's Benfica again. Porto are not getting a look in at the minute, but they got Diego. Benfica's Diego still yeah. there. Look, yeah. Uh, so a few of the players that we've had previously are there. So yeah, very interesting. The only thing I will ask, want to check, is my Valencia transfer budget for next season is 38 million. But I've got a young John Stones coming in age 20 which is not bad at all and i've got ronaldinho coming in that might be enough to entice me to stay because that ac milan team is just on the wrong yeah. side of 35. what about the um ballon d'or we haven't seen the ballon d'or for a while have we we've got a couple of years to catch up the ballon d'or was won by fred last year Real Madrid. and gonzalo higuain the Real year Madrid before again. miroslav closer which might have been the year that I was there. Might have been. It could have been the year that I was there, 27, 28. I think it was because he won these two here and I had joined here when Carlos Tevez won it. So I think that could be the year that I won it. Uh, the year that I was there, Miroslav Close actually won the Ballon d'Or. I think I quit in that season, yeah. the 2028 20, season. So, yeah, fair play. All right. Well, there's a couple of trophies to add to both of our Glory Hunter cabinets. Which hasn't happened in a while that no. we've crossed off one I've in that, each. I've got that bad one that was just hanging me on, on my shoulder. I've got him off now. Yeah. Go now. Get out of there. Let's add it to the Retro Glory Hunter cabinets. <laughs> yes, a successful season for both, with myself surprisingly managing to lift the Copa del Rey in the first season of asking with my new side, Valencia. But well done to Dad, who finally completes Italy, lifting the Serie A trophy, and he can now move away and search for a new role.